Hi, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. In this video, we will learn how to clone remote Git repository. Let me open UiPath Studio. So here you can see the option clone repository, which is used to clone a remote Git repository. It means we already have a repository available remotely. It means on GitHub. And then we just need to clone that one. You copy the same repository locally. So for that, we'll be using this one. You know that we already have option to download as a zip file and then we can open that in UiPath Studio. But it can be a time taking process, right? But you know that you are going to use UiPath Studio to work on that repository. Then why you will go through all this process to download the zip file, unzip that, that, that package and then open in the UiPath Studio like that. You already have option in the UiPath Studio to clone that and it just clones a remote Git repository. It means which is already available on GitHub. It will just download the copy of the same file, open in the UiPath Studio and also create a local repository in your system. So we'll be using this one. Now, what is the purpose of doing using this clone repository? So let's say your team is already working on uh, one of the process and they have already uh, developed the project using RE framework or they have already developed a project. Now you want to also download that just to go through the code or you just want to modify in that code. You just want to add some features to that code so that you can deploy let's say you have to fix some bugs on that so you will just go download this it means clone that repository modify that and then just commit that it means commit locally and then remotely also so for this purpose we can use this clone repository now let me show you how to do this one so for that you know that we should have a existing remote get repository so if you don't know how to create that one or you don't know how to add the project from local to the remote, you can go through a previous video. Now let me click on clone repository. Now once you click on this clone repository, you will get this window, this pop up where we need to clone a remote get repository. We need to choose any one option from here, either SSH or HTTPS. I'm going to use clone using HTTPS, which is by default, I think. We have repository URL. It means here we need to enter the URL which you are going to clone. Second is checkout directory. Checkout directory is the folder directory to your local system where you want, you want to download that or you want to create a local repository for the existing remote get repository. Here we have option use credentials. It means you want to sign in with the GitHub or you are, you are going to use the user or name or password or token to sign into that one. Now uh, in this repository URL, we need to enter the URL. Now how you can find out that? So let me open github.com. So this is github.com. I'm already on the dashboard page. Now we need to find out the repository which I want to clone. So if you want to search any repository from the public you can search that name and you will get might be if you search uipath you will get lots of repository here you can just clone that one but now for this video for this series i'm going to use this repository which i have already created here so i'm going to use this one uipath underscore first github hyphen repo okay so this is the path that I need to use. I will copy this one and I will just paste here. And at the end, we need to add, add here dot git. So you can do it like this or the second option you have, click on code by going to this repository, click on code and then click on HTTPS and then copy this one. You can see, just let me paste here just to uh, compare. You can see same as this, right? Only the additional thing that we have dot get. Okay. So you can just use any one. Here we have to enter the checkout directory. So I'm going to use this folder. On my desktop, there is a UiPath folder. This one. Now here you can see we have option to open that one. 
now one more thing you need to understand here if i'll just remove this ui path now this button is disabled why because the error message is the checkout directory is not empty it means this directory the last this folder should be empty then only it can create the uh, it can just download the the repository locally and then it can create a local repository here and then underscore i might uh, use this just same as that repository name so i'll just paste like this right now before clicking on open one more thing if you don't have internet access you will not able to clone a remote get repository it means if you want to download the repository from remote to locally you should have the internet access let me show you that so let me disconnect that now let me click on open and you can see make sure that remote is available and try again now let me connect this so i have just connected this internet now let me click on remote and then let me paste it again here sorry let me uh, copy that local directory slash and i'm going to use that same repository name this is not necessary to add but you can keep any folder name which is empty now click on open now it's going to checking out and it's going to use your credential to sign in into the github this one and we have already like given the access to this uh, uipath studio and this uh, we have authorized that you know that we have already connected this github and uipath studio so there's no issue here you can see it has already downloaded it means a uh, clone this one and it has already created this folder inside this uipath and now you can see here click on hidden items and a local repository created also and now you can modify that one and you can start making changes and you can again commit the changes and you can push that changes to the remote get repository by this way you can clone remote get repository